<laughs> you disgusting pig. Oink. I will name you Porky. <laughs> oh, one minute. Um, um, uh. Buddy, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, got some shit. Buddy, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs> I'll do it. Me too. Sorry? Hmm. Absolutely. Well, alright, maybe not. I mean, Queen did a song with Michael Jackson, but then obviously uh, they didn't. They didn't finish it when both of them were still alive. But obviously, when they when they both passed, Queen uh, the... finished off the rest of the music, and then they released it as part of a compilation album that they what, did. What was the compilation album called? Oh God! I think it came out in 2011. Fifteen. Um. Right. So, there's a song called Who Wants to Live Forever and there's an instrumental. What's the instrumental called? Have a step in the dark because it's part of the title. So yes. this... Uh... It's one of the words in the title of Who Wants to Live Forever. No, that's, that's not it. Then we... No, that's not it. I wonder if it's part of albums. Yeah, forever. Why it would be, but... Forever is the instrumental of Who Wants yeah. to Live Forever. The first Queen album's called Queen. Put them together, that's where you get the compilation from. Compilation title from. Okay, compilation albums, here we go. Uh... There uh, must be more to life than this. That's the one. There must Queen be more forever. To life than this. Also, there is one called um, State of Shock. State. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's the compilation album. Queen forever. I like that song. It's quite cool. There's quite a few songs in there that... Oh! There's going to be a, a song from Queen that's going to be released um, in September. It's been in the archive for a very long time. Which one's that? Um, Queen song release September. Face it alone. Actually, it was a real discovery. The track is from recording sessions while Queen. Face it alone. Yes, uh, the unreleased song featuring Freddie Mercury vocals. Actually, it was a it was a real discover real discovery. The track is from the recording sessions whilst Queen were working on its 1989 album, The Miracle. The song is titled Face It Alone and it will come out in September. It was kind of hidden in plain sight, May said of the song. Oh. Yeah. The song, There Must Be More To Life Than This, Freddie Mercury officially had on his... Um, Mr. Bad on Guy. His, 
on his yeah on his album. 1985, yes. So he did a solo version of the song. Yes. But no, the reason why one of the reasons why I love the song is the story behind it. Yes. Uh, where because <laughs> I looked it up and uh-huh. uh, Freddie just couldn't take. MJ's antics because he even brought his pet llama into the corner yes. studio. Yes, and he was like, get me out of this. Yes, <laughs> there was there was so that's close why to an album. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, I like I like that song. There's a song with there's a song with Cliffy hey there, and Sydney Gaff Levine mm. here, hoping you'll take a look-see at a staging base an abomination clone is currently calling uh, home. Would make me the gratefulest. So I may not be a gamma scientist, but I did design the Queen Forever album. Queen Forever album. Many of the technological marvels that aim on Spotify. Ah, so it is. It is on Spotify. Is yeah, that's what I was looking for. Cause every step of the way. So you're in good I love that song. And I want to add it to one of my playlists. It's bloody brilliant. Oh, yeah, uh, fine. Once director Fury names you something, it sticks. Sure Queen album. Forever album. Love Kills. That's one of his solo stuff. Album, singles, compilations. There we go. Queen Forever. There must be oh, more to life than this. There we are. Looks Added. Like Done. Have an eye toward what we're doing out here. Uh-oh. Our intelligence agrees with this assumption. I was born to love you. That started off as a Fred, that was a Freddy's single, not a single, um, a solo. Solo song. Yeah, I keep on putting that uh, Alma and Tasha syndrome. Not, okay, uh, not as often as I usually would, because she would go like, Tanya! Is that, a, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not quite sure. Yes, I was no, I mean, putting the song on while she's in the room, like... Mr. Stark's made. Very impressive. <laughs> I don't know, like... so. The only reason why I would continuously put one song in when someone, when a certain someone's in the room, is if it sort of annoys them a little bit, you know, or if I, if uh-huh. I said that I think the song describes them in some way, but they disagree, <laughs> just be like, I don't know. If there was a song called "You're a Cutie Pie," you'd obviously put it on while mm-hmm. Sasha's around, because obviously you keep telling her that she's cute, and she goes, "No, I'm not." Hey Google, play "Cutie Pie." The f- fudging what, what, what? Let's show them how it's done. Never ever ask Google to play Birmingham Cutie Pie because. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Google. 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 Sorry, That is brilliant. I live in hope of a world filled with love. There Stay must there be more to life than. Oh, it's a big bastard. Certainly is. Do your thing. Well, fucking do! Boom! So it was easy as pie to keep your The guards outside will have no idea you're coming.